all doing well. Today it's Bank Holiday Monday. I thought I would do a little vlog of the day. Um, I'm currently waiting for <laughs> Emilio to um, hurry up and be ready so that we can leave. I've been in the car for five minutes. Um, classic, he's probably doing his hair. Today we're heading to Ludlow. Um, we are going to go charity shopping, vintage shopping, thrift shopping. We're gonna go for some lunch. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I haven't been to Ludlow in a while, but we're just gonna have a really fun day. And so I thought I'd take you along with me because I haven't done um, a proper YouTube vlog in a long time. Um, so I think today's the day. Here he is, he's here. We're vlogging. Hello. <laughs> um, so we're going to head to Ludlow now and we'll see you on the other side. We arrived. It's quite mild today, although there's a bit of a chill in the air. So I've got a coat in my bag, um, but it's going to be good. Are you excited? I am. Yay. What? Everything looks closed. Oh. It's a bank holiday, so we were kind of <laughs> iffy about whether things were going to be open or not. Um, but we've done a bit of Googling and we think, well, the big vintage emporium that we want to go to is definitely open because I messaged them on Instagram. <laughs> so we'll see about the charity shops. Everybody pray. The ride at this one is a really good one and it's open. So breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> wow, I always love their window displays. They do it so beautifully. This is probably the best charity shop in Ludlow, actually. Look at that dress. Emilio found a tie that he really liked for a wedding yep. that we're going to. Um, and you haven't bought it yet, have you? No, I'm just going to see if I see anything else. Um, so the ladies put it aside, but I did end up getting that jacket because it was a bargain. It was eight quid um, and it was like cropped, it fit me really well. And I love a bold stripe and I love a vintage jacket. So yeah, I mean, first shop we went into, I bought something typical. Instantly, I'm seeing like anything gold and like a magpie. They're really cool, actually. They're quite retro. They're quite retro. Didn't you buy some salt and pepper shakers mm -hmm. or not? Look at that. The ruffles are fantastic, aren't they? Amelia's just had some success in Oxfam, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. That parasol is beautiful. So we're now heading to Nina and Co, which is a amazing vintage emporium here in Ludlow that Amelia and I have been to many times before because we love it. And I messaged them on Instagram, they are open. So can't wait to show you around because there's going to be lots of goodies. Oh, that's so you. <laughs> That is so you, isn't it? Uh, the table or the glasses? The glasses. Uh, I just love this place so much.
top of trousers or with my wide leg trousers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The details are really pretty as well. Yeah. But I Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. This could be styled up in like so many cool ways. And spin like, round. Hits at the right um, really Yeah. Right it's cool. Mm -hmm. So we've just left Nina and Co. We got some really good bits. I got this ring. How beautiful is that? It's like a vintage um, gilt ring and it goes really well with my nails and everything. So I'm super happy with that. Um, Emilio bought a few bits as well. Do you want to show them what you bought? I'm just going to flip the camera. <laughs> It's all folded up, but it's like a it's like a cotton dressing gown, which is a bit unusual. It's a really cool print. It's like a um, not a smoking jacket. What is it? Uh, like a just a, a dressing gown. Yeah, a dressing gown. The print is really cool. Though. It's like little keys. We'll show you the rest of the pieces in the car. We'll do a little haul. Um, but we're just having some lunch now and um, a little bit of a pit stop before doing the rest of the charity shops. It looks like there's like a big fair on today bank holiday fair um so we're gonna just avoid the kids or ghosts <laughs> oh time for lunch yeah. looks good so we have done the last few charity shops um, we went to an antique place but it was closed so we're just heading back to the car and we'll show you our goodies when we get in the car okay so i've just spent honestly about the last 10 minutes trying to get <laughs> oh my god show us the video <laughs> just find an alternative tripod because this thing can go in the bin well we were now in the car we'd show you the few bits that we bought um do you want to start Emilio? I mean, it's feeling a bit camera shy, so if it feels like I'm talking oh, a lot over not, him, yeah. <laughs> then it's because he's, he's... We're doing my things first? Yeah. Okay, so guys, this is the first thing I picked up. Look at this little cropped blazer. How iconic is that? Let me just pick it up so you can see it. It's little buttons. It fits me really well. Um, and I love that it's a stripe. It is vintage. There's a hole in it. Oh no! It's quite a big hole as well. How did we not spot that? Oh my god, that's so annoying. I mean, maybe you know it's on what? the back actually. It is on the back, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's on the back. Whoa! Sorry. Okay, that was a good save. Um, there's a few marks on this. Your girl, she needs a dry clean. Um, but I think for eight pounds from Sue Ryder, it's clearly been repriced as well. Uh, it was probably originally more, but I love that. And then next, oh, what's, oh no, we'll go for this one next. Um, I picked up this uh, pink satin vintage shirt. Look at that collar. How beautiful is that? Got this from an Oxfam. It's originally Maxton. Um, really nice cuff detail, gold buttons. You know how I love that. Um, I just think that is, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I think that is really, really pretty. Um, I haven't tried it on yet, but I love the material and the color. Um, then from Nina and Co, which is the big vintage emporium that um, we basically came here for, didn't we really? Yeah. Um, I picked up this ring. I right, let me take it off so I can show you better. It's beautiful. There's a lot of clothes. I tried on a lot of clothes, um, and I had to really have a moment and kind of be like, "Do I need this? No." So I did end up going for this beautiful. That is so stunning. Let me just do a little blogger moment. Okay. Um, this beautiful ornate ring. Um, the caging around it is stunning and it is um, gilt. Yeah, I will. It's gilt. It goes with all the rest of my jewelry really well. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy with that. This was £24, um, but it's gold, gold gilt, so it shouldn't tarnish or anything, which is amazing. Um, is that all I got today? I think it was, yeah. 
Let's see what Emilio bought. Well, I've got a wedding coming up, so I was looking for a cool tie. And I thought this was quite unusual. It's really nice. Um, and then I saw another one, which I'm not so sure about, but it is a wedding, so. And it's at the Botanical Gardens, isn't it? Yeah, so, so that's quite cool as well. They're um, really nice. How much are they again? A pound and three pounds. Bargain? Bargain? What next? And then I also got this, which is a bit bizarre, but it's quite cool. It's like a men's dressing gown thing, which you it's can't really see. It's, it's a, robe. a robe, yeah, but it's got a cool... It's really unusual because yeah. I've seen a lot of paisley men's robes, but I haven't seen one in that kind of pattern. It's got like chains, red cord and like uh, keys on it. It's really funky, actually. I've seen it before and it's quite cool, so I thought, uh, why not? Had you seen it in there before? Yeah. <clears throat> Fair enough. And then Amelia's <laughs> got more. And then I've got this. a bit of an obsession with mid-century stuff. So I saw these little space age type <laughs> so, so funny because <laughs> we're always so different. Like, we're so um, opposite in our tastes because I like everything gold. Emilio is very much like silver, metal. Um, and then <laughs> <laughs> he's got a little whole, the whole bag. The whole bag is filled with. Yeah, with this really cool, again, very mid century teak wood, rosewood cutlery, which was like four ninety nine for a set of so 12 good. pieces. So no. 24 pieces, um, which is really a really good price. 12 pounds? It was 4 99 4 99 Yeah, for the whole set. I know. So there's this style, which I think is more like steak or fish. And then there's this style, which is more like everyday kind of cool. stuff. Did you get so that's for the house else? I don't have yet. You'll have one soon. We're manifesting it. Um, no, that's everything. That's everything? Yeah. Well, that is everything we got today. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And thank you for joining us on our trip. And we will see you very soon. Say bye, Amelia. Bye. Bye.